This video will show you how to create a sales order and process it through to sales invoice in Odoo version 8 using the standard sales module. We go to the sales menu and press sales orders and then we press create to create ourselves a new sales order. The first phase of a sales order is always a quotation phase which you can see here for its status. We can select a customer from the system, we can search the whole database or we can create a new customer as well. We'll give it a reference or description, which could be a purchase order number or some information that the customer would recognize. Select a product from our product list and it will populate the description. We can add to the description if we chose to there. And then we can add some other information here as well to do with the, the, the shipping, the invoicing policies. Tags are quite useful to categorize orders for different sections or sectors. We can choose a payment term. There's some standard payment terms that come with the system or you can create your own there's a very flexible payment term system. There's information which comes through the CRM to do with the campaign, the channel and the source as well. So we'll save the changes that we've made and confirm the sale. We could quite easily send the document by email by pressing the button at the top. If we chose to, we could progress to viewing a delivery order and go through the delivery stage. But in this video, we'll just focus on the accounting transactions. We can now see the sales order that we've just created and we can go into it here. So we'll now go and create an invoice. The options we have here is that we can invoice the whole of the sales order. We could invoice just a percentage of it or even some item lines or a fixed price. And in this case, we created a draft invoice based on the whole sales order. The items that we entered earlier are all here. And it's calculated our tax. We can validate the sales order. This is the point where it posts all of the financial transactions. Up till that point, there were only draft transactions. Now it's been validated, it will submit them all to the balance sheet in the sales ledger and the various nominal codes in the profit and loss will automatically get posted. You can see on our list of invoices now, we have a customer invoice for our customer here with the invoice number, the date, and you can see the source document that it was generated from, which is the sales order. We can go into the invoice have a look at the details that have been produced and there we go that is sales order and invoicing